Welcome to the video on the topic Opto Electronic Devices of Module 2. So, in the previous videos, we have discussed about what is PN junction, what is the current component in a PN junction diode, what is meant by reverse bias. In reverse bias, what are the two mechanisms involved? Also, we have discussed about what is a rectifier. So, in this video, we will be discussing what is meant by an optoelectronic device. So, what is an optoelectronic device? A device that interacts with the light. So, a normal PN junction diode interacts with uh, uh, with the thermal, uh, it interacts with the electrical energy. That is, we the, we, we will be really uh, studying. We studied about the operation of the diode based on the applied electric field. Now, this device, photoelectronic, optoelectronic devices, are nothing but which will be having an photo photo energy. Photo is nothing but the light energy. So these optoelectronic devices can be divided into three types. One is light direction device, the other one is light conversion device, and third one is light emitting device. So light is an electromagnetic radiation that is visible to the human eye. We know that uh, the light consists of various spectra and uh, different wavelengths, and based on the wavelength, the energy of the uh, port, uh, material uh, of the light energy will be varying, and the wavelength will be uh, deciding the color of the light also. So based these principles will be used here in the PN junction. So the first case of it is what is meant by light direction device. Any device that uh, detects the amount of light that falls on it is called as the light directing device. So what is a light conversion device? Light conversion device is the one which converts the light energy or it converts the light energy falling on it. The photon energy will be converted to the electrical form. So the third one is the light emitting device. That is here the output will be a light energy. So when an uh, electrical energy is given to the device, that electrical energy will be converted to the light energy. Here, coming to this, uh, first to the, here, when we go for this uh, photoelectronic devices or optoelectronic devices, uh, here, the best example for it is the well-known LEDs. So what is an LED? So LED is nothing but which it gets the electrical energy and emits the light energy. So the light source will be here. So the light source is taken and it is converted and then it will be either detected or it, it will be converted to some other form. Now, the other applications of uh, electronic devices, if we take, uh, we have solar cells. So, what is meant by solar cells? Solar cells are uh, uh, where the light energy from the, the sun energy is taken and it is converted to, in the, to the form of solar uh, electrical energy. And the other example of uh, light energy is the laser surgery. So the laser, laser is one form of light. So here the light energy is used to uh, perform some medical operations. The next one is what is meant by a photodiode. So photodiode is a two terminal device designed to respond to photo absorption. There uh, it has, it should have a high sensitivity and response speed. What is meant by sensitivity? sensitivity Sensitivity is nothing but um, how much uh, it is able to detect the light energy falling on it. So what is response speed? Response speed is nothing but uh, how, after how much time the light falling light energy is converted or it is detected. So these two are very important parameter for any photodiode devices. So here. Um, photodiode is a device that consumes the light energy and it produces the electric current. So photons of energy uh, hit uh, greater than 1.1 electron volt hit the diode and when it is uh, when falls on the diode it, it, it generates the electron hole pair. The, so all the energy which falls on this will not be generating it but the photons which has a sufficient energy in, and which enters the depletion region of the diode could create a free electron and a hole. 
holds moves towards the anode and the electrons moves to the cathode when that is when it is reversed by azure thereby producing the photo current this is the principal operation of the photodiode so the number of holes created per second within the diffusion length of the transition region on the end side is taken as alp into gop where gop is nothing but the optical generation rate and l suffix p is nothing but the diffusion length of the holes in the in the in the transition region similarly in the in the um, p region also so for the electrons we can have the number of electrons generated as al suffix n gop that gop is nothing but the generation rate of the charge carriers so for the total width for the total width of the transition region that is inside the depletion region we assume that the generated charge carrier is a w gop where w is the width of the or it is given as the um, total width of the transition region or the depletion region so the total current will be given as a sum of these three components so that is the current when the charge carriers which are generated in the um, n region which is generated in the p region and also in the depletion region so the charge carriers which are generated in the n region within the diffusion length uh, will be taken into the picture because the electrons which are generated beyond the diffusion length will get recombined before before it crosses the transition region so the total current in the device is given by i is equal to ith into e power 2 by kt minus 1 so this is the normal this is the normal current minus minus iop is the iop is the uh, current generated due to the photon energy so since it is reversed by azure so the generated current will be opposite to the normal current and hence uh, this will be subtracted so substituting the diffusion length formula we will be getting that the final current is given by the i is equal to q a into l p by tau p into p n plus l n by tau n into n p e power q v t q v divided by k t minus 1 so this is the final equation so now when the optically generated um, uh, charge carriers when it is observed it will be either converted or it will be con uh, detected by means of this and the photons uh, when the uh, the same device when based on the operate operating point uh, so it can be used as uh, um, it can be used as led or solar cell or it can be used as a photo detector so when the led is uh, the led is nothing but when the diode is powered by azure that is when the p region is connected to the positive terminal of the battery and n region is connected to the negative terminal of the battery then the, the, the device is said to be operating as an led when the device is reversed by azure and in that case when the device will be operating in the third quadrant so here it will be operating as the device will be operating as a photo detector when the device is operating in the fourth quadrant so the device will be operating as a solar cell so in the case of second and the third that is the power is delivered to the device by the external circuit and uh, that is sorry in the in the in, in first and the second case the power is delivered to the device by the external circuit and in the third case the power is delivered to the load so based on the operation we will be having different applications of this photodiode so this uh, current uh, this current is called as the dark current that is without the photons and this is called as the illuminated current iv under the illumination so we will be studying in detail about the solar cell led and the photodiodes in the forthcoming videos so thank you